Next up is Jonas, he's a junior rower from Lithuania. Lithuania has exceptionally, exceptionally great scholars. So it's interesting to see some sweep rowers. Jonas asks, hey, what is it that we can improve? Well, first of all, it's the blade control towards the catch. It's the, the outside hands that are too far in the boat, which leads to the point where the blades are too high off the water. Um, also here, you're trying to be extra long, the bow guy, and you're trying to be extra long by you know, going forward with the outside hand. And sweep rowing has nothing to do with erging. On the erg, you can lean forward, you will be a bit longer, it might show a bit more watts. In the boat, it doesn't work this way. You have to rotate around the oar lock. This is what makes you fast here. And it's better to have a trade-off of maybe five degrees less of the catch. You will not use them anyway. Yeah. And, but be in a very good position. Stroke length is highly, highly overrated. I know there's a lot of coaches who say that you've got to be at least uh, 2 meters 50 tall and you've got to have at least 125 kilos and you should be Hercules and I wouldn't have nothing to do, you sit in a boat, you're strong enough. This is not the reality. Uh, reality is far different. Most of the rowers are anything between 170 and, and 190, uh, 195 if, with a few exceptions taller than that. And you, you can reach the minimum stroke length you need if you're 160 tall. I had a rower, she was 160 on a by rower, and we know that 70 degrees at the catch and 40 with sculling at the finish is what you need. She could reach that. So don't worry about being too short or not long enough at the catch. Position your body well. What I like is the way you accelerate the boat. That's very nice, but you're not synchronized. And the, the synchronicity is a problem of the way you understand how to drive that boat. If you just check the, the trunks of the stroke and the two guy, but move forward, same with the Greeks. Uh, check, the, check the analysis of Agelos just before. You also do this, it up, uplift of the, of the trunk and, and therefore the timing is so difficult. Because if you have to lift up the trunk, wait until boom, it hits you because now the blade is so bombarded into the water. And this is nothing you can really calculate. Um, so therefore the time throughout the drive is different. And uh, the stroke guy, for example, uses his upper body a bit earlier. Number two uses it a bit later. And therefore you actually have a better connection here at, uh, at two seat than a stroke guy and therefore you leave the water a fraction, a fraction later. This is not a bad thing, it's actually a good thing. So this is one thing I realized. What I like very well here, this is this is great. Number three, excellent position at the finish. Elbows lead out. Um, if you see this, this is beautiful. This, this elbow here helps him to stabilize the entire drunk. That's good. And also the shoulder girdle seems to me it's in balance with the inboards. So great, that's absolutely good. And I don't see your guys' elbows, but for all of you, this seems to be very good and something your coach seems to seems to emphasize. That's, that's a good thing, I really like to see this. As we move forward, not a problem starts. Legs come at different points of time. Well, I suppose you are a different height, but still a bit of synchronicity is, is necessary. And then, as you move forward, yeah, you, you're using a bit of upper body weight, trunk weight to stabilize the boat, but that's not effective. You lean too much onto your oar handles, and this is the same thing we just had with um, Agelos before. Yeah, bow guy trying to be extra long, the same as before. So one, two, and three guy try to be extra long, bring the, bring the outside hand deep into the boat and this destabilizes. With the stroke eye, I don't see it really, but it probably is similar, it's just an estimation. For the rest, it looks very good, except I think you guys could use your trunk weight a bit more. Use um, the arms a little later. Use, yeah, exactly, now with the three guy we see it. Use the arms a little later. Hang on to that, or a little longer. Pivot a, a little farther back, and then use the arms just to complete the stroke. Ease off. This is what I say is uh, an easy exit, easy entry at the catch, easy exit, which means smooth it out with with the last bit of arm pull. 
don't try to use the arms at a point of time where the oars are in the perfect position to accelerate their boat. If you then stop to use the trunk and use the arms too early, arms are too weak, much weaker than the trunk, so it's going to slow down the boat. Yeah, this, this is one of the factors. Okay, Jonas, but for the rest, looks very good. Very nice, actually. Jonas, I wish you and your coach and your fellow athletes all the best. I'm looking forward to updates. And we move on to the next video analysis.